Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Green and I'm here to teach you a little bit about some basic calculator programming. Let's say you have an 85 and you need a, a 79.5 in the class in order to keep your B because the, the teacher rounds up. Alright, so this is what we want and so this is all we would need to get on the final if the final is 20% of the grade. Alright, but let's say for example that they have a 60% in the class and they want an 89.5 to get their A. Well, we know that's not going to happen. 207.5% on the final? Come on. So we can do a little thing to solve this confusion. What we do is we go to the, the end of the program and before we display F, the F equaled over 200% last time and that's just not realistic. So, we're going to use an if-then statement, just to get a little bit of practice. We're going to go to program, if. Alright, so let's say f equals some number that's over or over 100%, because you can't get more than 100% on your final. So, if f equal, or is, is greater than 100%, so 100, then we want it to, to stop. We don't want it to to display this number. We want to say something like, you can't get this grade. Alright, so here we go. I, I wrote, this grade is unachievable. And you'll notice how I broke it up into two. Well, if you get past a certain spot on the second line, normally it's about right here, or like right here. If, if this is, a, if it goes that far, then it's going to stop displaying it's going to run off the screen and give you a dot 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 and you don't want that so if you have a message that goes longer than than the space available just go ahead and hit display again and it'll hit it on the second line and now we need to end the if then statement so it doesn't get confused especially if we add other if then statements it might not matter right now alright so let's test this out now the person who has a 60% in the class and um, wants an 89.5 will get this message. This grade is unachievable. Alright, now that you've hit end, we need to make sure that the original display, the final grade, is right here. Otherwise, um, you're just going to have this grade is unachievable or it's not going to display anything. Alright, so here we have this display F. Now, a major part of program editing is anticipating the errors that the user is going to make. For example, right now we have, if they have a 60% and they type in an 89.5 for what they want, they'll have this grade is unachievable. But if the user says, alright, well I have a 60% in the class, so I'm going to type in 0 .60. And I want an 89.5, so I want a .895. Well, it, it'll give him this. I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and it looks like the program may have failed, or maybe it, it really is a 207.5% or whatever it is. But the point is that this this program fails here, so we want it to, to fix these errors. We don't want C to equal 0.6, we want it to equal 60, and we don't want N to equal 0.895. We want it to equal 89.5. So what you need to do is you go into grade and 0.6 and 0.895 are both less than 1 and no matter what he puts in there it's going to be less than 1 if he does that so after prompt C we're going to we're going to add this little if then statement as part of our troubleshooting we have program if if C we here we go again into the second test is less than or equal to 1, which means 0 0.895, 0 0.6, 0 0.0 whatever. So if it's less than 1, then we're going to want to multiply C by 100. So 100 times C. And then we're going to want to store that as the new C. So store C. And now if they typed in 0.895, it'll multiply it by 100 before it does anything else. 
Alright, and once again we have to put end here, or otherwise it's going to keep going with this if then statement. And so here we have this prompt n, and we want to do the same thing. Alright, so here we have if n is less than or equal to 1, once again, then 100 times n, store n, and then end it. Alright, so now we've fixed this little bug, and if we test it out, if we type in 0.6 here, and 0.895, then it'll tell us it's unachievable and then it'll give us the number. Um, we don't want the number to display because um, for our purpose it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean getting a 200 on a final just doesn't make sense unless you have a really really nice teacher but we know that teachers are evil. Alright so we want to go into this and we want to stop this program if it's going to display that error message. So we need to second insert, enter. We want it to stop. All right. So we add this little thing in here that tells the program to end if it displays this, this grade is unachievable. And we also have this end here because we want stop to be part of the if then statement. We don't want the program to completely stop every time that you enter data into it. All right, so now if we test this again, this grade is unachievable and it's done. All right, the next problem that we run into is if we use this and we say that, all right, my current grade in the class is a 90 and I'm taking this class as a pass-fail, so all I need is a 70. Well, you get this negative 10 answer. You need a negative 10 on the final? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you could say you don't have to show up for the final or you could say anything like that. But giving this negative number here just doesn't help us. So we're going to add something to this program. We're going to go program edit grade. And we're going to mess with the results now. Oh, by the way, if you want to scroll down fast, hit, hit second alpha. And that keeps it on alpha. And so you don't have to keep hitting it. And then it scrolls down really quickly to the bottom. It's like a page down. All right. Well, now we have to mess with this F. So let's hit second enter. We don't want it to display F if, if it's less than zero. It makes no sense if it's a negative number. So we're going to use this if then statement again. Let's add a couple more enters here. So if F is less than zero, then we want it to display a message and you can create your own error message for this alright so I said display you cannot get a grade this low of course this if then statement is still going so we not only need to end this but we need to make it stop we don't want it to display a negative number because it doesn't make any sense so we go to program and it's at F stop and then we want it to end the if then statement. You can also hit these numbers over by the side. That'll be a time saver. Hit 7 instead of cycling down. Now, if you try this again, you have a 90 and you want a 70, it'll tell you you cannot get a grade this low. Also, um, if you think this looks funny and you want to add spaces in between um, each of these display messages, you can do that and it's really easy to do. For example, if you want to give it some space before you display the this desired grade message you go second insert and you insert one of these and you go program and hit display and don't type in anything except for this little quotation now you see there's there's the space here that wasn't here before and that can be kinda nice Okay, that ends the third segment on perfecting a program. In the next segment, I'll show you a few more calculator functions and I'll walk you through another quick program.